little blue flyer here and I've decided to mount the eBay gimbal that I bought the brushless gimbal that I bought and put it on my 350QX which is right here and of course I'm going to mount underneath but rather than using the usual uh, GoPro setup that uh, Blade has uh, established here I'm going to mount it right over here in the middle um, so well, I think that's a better CG a better area for the CG and let's see here and inside I doubt that you can see this because I can hardly see it I think there's enough space there to uh, bring in some screws and whatnot so uh, I'm gonna get this going and uh, share the step-by-step Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to mount that, uh, let's see here, the camera mount and center it up right there. So I'm just going to um, mark this, drill a couple of holes in there, and hopefully I could uh, bring in the, uh, the screw from the inside. I think that would be a better way of doing it. And I've decided to use, um, let's see, what are, what are these screws? They're the uh, machine screws. Uh, 440 by a half inch. It's kind of out of focus. I apologize. My camera doesn't have a uh, an automatic focus because it's cheap. That's why. So I'm going to use these and um, that's these screws. And I'm also uh, going to use some washers and um, some of the my old helicopter uh, grommets just to dampen again some of the vibration. Um, I did just dampeners uh, it never hurts so I'm gonna give this a shot and uh, mount it over here okay so making progress here after drilling those two holes I mentioned to you guys so basically there's one over there and one over there and so I just drilled two holes I didn't want to do three I don't think you need to to, to put three holes in there plus I don't want it to uh, to crack right in the middle there just in case and so uh, it should be all secure all secure there and uh, I just inserted the two screws that I mentioned to you and then inside it's gonna be tough to see here inside I put a washer as well and with the um, with the nut so make sure you have a washer inside as well. I don't think you can see this from the inside, but there's a washer and a nut in there as well. And the tricky part is just getting that washer and the nut right in place, but just a little bit of patience and it should be should, should be good. All right, we're almost done. And we're done. So it's all hooked up over there. Added the, uh, the blue rubber dampeners to this. It looks nice and secure. No jiggles or anything like that. Of course, as you guys know, it's a little lower than the um, the skid, so I need to add some something there just to elevate the skid some more, so the um, the camera won't be touching the ground when it lands. But all in all, that was a bad modification, and I'm probably gonna add some zip ties, a couple of zip ties, just to uh, just for safety's sake to those to those things. That's a pretty easy to do. So um, once again, thanks for visiting and uh, leave me some comments, some tips, anything you guys want. Uh, just nothing negative because I will um, basically just delete it. All right, this is uh, Blue Flyer. Thanks again. I'll see you later.